Breaking news into first take this morning. ESPN senior NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski has agreed to become the general manager of the men's basketball program at St. Bonaventure. He told ESPN, Woj is a St. Bonaventure graduate and has a strong relationship with the program. Woj released a statement that read in part, after all these years of reporting on everyone's team, I'm heading back to my own. Stephen A, obviously Woj, a friend of all of ours. Uh, this is absolutely shocking. I can't think more highly of any colleague here at ESPN. And all I can say before I kick it to you is obviously we know he had a big time contract here at ESPN. He's the best of the best. And it's I know it's a daunting uh, job here to be an insider. I hope this is a, a happiness move for him. So do I. Um, I've gotten to know Woj over the last couple of years working on NBA Countdown. Um, he's the best in the business. He's the best in the business, make no mistake about it. Nobody's more well-connected, nobody's more respected, um, and to be around him and to just have, to be able to touch on a wealth of knowledge that he's had in all of his years covering the league, the context that he has, the inside information that he's had, uh, he's led this place for quite a long time. As you well know, there are many, many occasions where we won't even go on the air and report something unless we hear from Woj first. He's mm -hmm. meant that much mm -hmm. to this place. Uh, he's a part of this institution, somebody that, you know, just speaking on behalf of the whole NBA Countdown team and all of us who have worked with him over the last few years, uh, he's the best in the business. He's absolutely exceptional, mm -hmm. a high-end professional. Uh, he has my profound respect, and um, I just hope that this is a very, very happy move, and I anticipate that it is because we certainly didn't ask him to leave. I can assure you of that. This is something that he's doing of his own volition. So one would surmise that he's incredibly happy and comfortable with the decision that he's making. And if anybody deserves to, uh, to be in a position to make this kind of information for the betterment of their quality of life, he would be that individual. He loves St. Bonaventure. Make no mistake about it. Sure Talk does about it love those Bonnies. Um, yep. He does. But it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him, yeah. uh, but I'm sad for us as a network because Absolutely. it's a devastating loss for us to not have him. 100%. Yeah, big loss. And obviously, he loves the college basketball. Yeah. He loves the Hurleys. Wrote the great book yeah. on Bobby Sr. Yeah. He knows the Connecticut program basketball-wise yeah, well. like you wouldn't believe. And, yeah. and uh, you know, St. Bonnie. That's St. Bonnie's crew. Mike Vaccaro, the New York mm -hmm. Post, is another yep. one. There is a Bob Lanier. Yep. There is a lot of loyalty to yep. St. Bonnie's. Mm -hmm. Little old Olean, New York, yep. middle of nowhere. They love St. Bonaventure. They got. They should have had the one year. They had yep. the great year, and Ford and Lanier got hurt. Uh, they, you know, Chris Ford. It's a famous play. Anyway, to make a long story short. He it had to be a tremendous opportunity. He wasn't going to leave ESPN for something he didn't like. Yeah. So good for him. If he wanted to go to St. Bonnie's, I give him a lot of credit. Absolutely. And I just want to say this lastly. Everyone who works in media works incredibly hard, right? A lot of different hours. The job never stops. But to be an insider is truly next level. So I'm not saying that being a GM it, it, it isn't much, but it's I hope for a quality of life as well. A lot of pressure this being is, an insider. This is, yeah. this is a good move for him. Um, yeah, we, we wish him all the best. He's a friend and, and, and much respect.